Uh, Mark, a massive win against an informed Rock Shell side there. Yeah, they've um, had some really good results in, in recent weeks, so we know we were going to be in for a tough test today, but the lads have acquitted themselves really well and uh, to come out with three points is a big boost for us all. Uh, second time in a week you've managed to keep hold of a tough 2-1 lead uh, right at the end there. Exactly, yeah. Um, the two previous games, you know, we've conceded late goals and Although there were good performances and good battling displays, we were in winning positions and we didn't want to throw those you know, three points in, in the other game as well. So it's, it's shown this week that we've gone on a level and I think that was really important to back up Tuesday night's performance and result with another big one today. Uh, co collectively, the defence, you just absorbed all the pressure late on and really shut them out? Yeah, we did. Um, we had a specific game plan for this game. We knew what their threat was and I think you know, for the best part, we, we nullified that really well. And that's not just the defence, it's, you know, defend from the front and the lads um, who played up the pitch and the lads in the field all were part of that display. So, you know, I think we were a bit unfortunate to go into the break at one all because I think we probably deserved to take the lead and, and, and maybe hold on to that. But, you know, we, we didn't let our heads drop, we bounced back and uh, I think we deserved the victory come, uh, come the end of the game. And once again, as you said, all the lads put shift in, didn't they, today? They did, yeah. Um, it's important because it was a squad effort and it's going to be a squad effort in the weeks to come because we've got a lot of games and uh, they're coming thick and fast and, and that's just how we want it because um, there's lots of competition for places and I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll all get our chance in the weeks coming ahead. On a personal note, you um, netted your second goal in the with Colours today, how was that? Yeah, it's been a while, um, you know, I scored, scored on my debut so um, you know, I was hoping that it was going to open the floodgates but um, <laughs> It's been a while and uh, you know, I've been working hard on the training ground. I was working hard with, uh, with Chris Lichetti yesterday and uh, I fancy myself coming into the game for a goal. And you know, A winning goal is always a nice moment and uh, great that it was uh, the one that got us three points. Yeah. came into the squad again uh, a few weeks ago and you just looked like you cemented the place. It's been really solid the last couple of games. I don't think anyone ever cemented the place. I think the, the quality in the squad. Um, <clears throat> you always have to be on your toes. You always have to be performing at your best and, and that's just how we want it. And that's how it... It, it's got to be because it's competitive on the training ground and that makes sure that we're, we're all fighting for shirts and but we're all pulling together at the same time. So it's getting that balance and I think at the moment we're doing that really well because if people aren't in the team, they're supporting one another and uh, that's going to be important come, come the end of the season. I want one player's good performance triggers another player's. Exactly, yeah, and we're all trying to trying to improve and we're all trying to improve together. So uh, the more that you know we can help one another and push one another, it can only be good for Fleetwood. Can you expect another goal on Tuesday night? I'm open to it. Cheers. Thank you.